we need to get down to somebody who also knows many, many things about the series. The lovely hey, and talented Doris B, Burke. B. What's, what's the latest, Doris, on all these injuries? Hey, guys. Well, the Golden State Warriors medical staff is quite comfortable with where Clay Thompson is physically. The only thing they will be watching early tonight is whether there's any compensation or uncomfortableness. But frankly, they do not expect it. He has made incredible progress. Kavan Looney is the one who pushed for a second opinion, and that's why he will hit the floor tonight. This is a young man that's got to play in case DeMarcus Cousins has another struggle. But Kavan Looney was ruled out initially is good to go, Michelle. All right, that is, uh, they're not they're not gambling on this one. Clay's game, um, look, it's, it's all about movement with him. On offense, he covers about a mile and a half on the court on defense, and I know Jalen loves that. About a mile and a third, uh, only player to rank in the top five in both of those this postseason. Jalen, on the court, as far as what his injury is doing to him, how will we know? Well, defensively, because he's a lockdown defender and a range shooter. But I have to also talk to him or talk about another guy real quick who's dealing with an injury. His name is Kevin DeGrant. And I'm really yeah. familiar with the setup workout that KD had yesterday with the team, Mr. Big Shot and the truth. And I'm going to tell you guys, it didn't go well on any level. Wow. It did not go well on any level. I'm just going to keep it at that. So I went from being a guy that think that he may come back later in the series. Nah, I feel like he might not come back at all. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. Uh, Chauncey, the Raptors, as far as game three, they did they did a lot of things right. I need you to be specific <laughs> on what needs to happen tonight again for them. Well, there, there's one thing that they did just beautiful. Their offense was awesome. They got a lot of contributions from the starters. But they extended their offensive possessions, which means you don't shoot quickly and give this team, the Warriors, a chance. Look at Kyle Lowry saying, everybody calm down. It's only 14 <laughs> seconds. It's okay. Take your time. They get into a pick and roll action right here. Marc Gasol did a very good job of being a secondary playmaker. And when these two guys play well and knock down shots, big shot right there by Kyle Lowry. It's just a different ball club. Again, you get Marc Gasol at the elbow. He's a terrific passer. You get these two guys into action. Here's what you want. Long possessions. Two feet in the paint. Look at that. Two and a half seconds on the clock. You're getting a two-foot little jump hook right there. They need to play that way. Siakam's been great. Obviously, no, we know what Kawhi is going to bring. Van Bleek has been good. Mm -hmm. But when those two veterans play well, Kyle and Gasol, they're just a different ball club. And, Paul, you've picked Toronto the entire way here so far. What, what's the message in the locker room before this game? If I'm a leader or a captain in that locker room, I'm telling these guys, look, we got the momentum. Guys, we're not coming back to Oakland. And you know what that means? That means we're getting tonight. We got the momentum. We got the confidence. We know we can play with these guys in this building. Let's take advantage tonight, and we'll be drinking champagne Whoa. after game five when we go home and bring home the title. That'll be my message in the locker room right there. We're not like, coming back to Oakland, fellas. I like when Paul says, if I was a leader, if I was. In that locker room. 